Right, I am aware I go away. I'm aware I said I'd go through an alternative way of tracking. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we go through like we did with our prep work. We delete everything. We go to video secret editor. Add a movie. Now for the purposes of today, I'm going to go through a different clip. Test, one to test. There we go. Let's add this movie quickly. There we go. So I'm going to turn on this view so I can see what it's doing. I'm going to stop about there, about a three. 50. So there we have what we want. I'm going to change my resolution because I was using a different camera this time to 1280 by 720. Yep. Let's scale up to 100%. About 25 frames per second I was filming it. Um, right, instead of going to JPEGs, this time I'm going to export to Targa because the software we're about to use likes this format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save into here, tracking files, which you can see I've already done, so I'm not going to do that. So what we're going to do now is you're going to render animation and then Close down Blender. Yes, I'm going to quit. So you can check out my awesome background. And we're going to go to. Going to want to install Voodoo tr Camera Tracker. If you haven't got it already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Open, Sequence. And now all you need to do is find your targets that you made. So for me, that'd be in. There we go. So I'm going to open these up. And a few um, settings here that you might want to keep in mind. Interlace, that's where you've got the um, funny bars across your footage. Got to make sure you select the right one is. But it's not interlaced for me, so I'm going to click that. And you can set it to be just rotation on your tripod, which is not for me. So I'm going to click through move. So I'm going to click OK. And here is my footage. So now what we want to do is you want to go to File, Open, Initial Camera, and set the settings to what you want. I'm going to, just going to go for a hit. And OK. Now you click Track and let Voodoo do the hard work for you. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to leave it to it and get back to you once it's finished. Okay, so I've gone off, made myself a cup of coffee, and I come back and this is all done. Yes, my cup takes ages to boil. So, if we now play this through, we now see we have these little green dots little green crosses and they follow the footage nicely so if you have footage like this blender tends to not do it because it has doesn't stay in one place that's just from my experiences anyway so this is why I use voodoo for shots like this obviously if your camera's going all over the place then neither will do you any good You'll probably have to position the camera manually, which is a bitch to do. Anyway, now we have all these tracking markers down, we need something to do with them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save, as a Blender Python script. 
because I'm using Blender 2.71, I'm going to go 2.5 and higher. And I'm going to save it where my... Okay, I'm going to save it where my target files are. As you can see here, there is already. So, I'm going to cancel. You export. You export it, but I'm not going to do that for this moment. So, I'm going to open up my dinosaur again. I'm going to delete this camera. And I'm going to move this ground plane to a different level for obvious reasons and now I'm going to go over here to text editor open the text block find where your tracking script is there we are tracking script open text block and now we have all of this which is our tracking data from voodoo so I'm gonna run script but there's a problem it's an easy fix. Data lens unit equals degrees. This is an easy fix. What we've got to do is just delete that section and it will run the script. I don't know why because Blender likes to be awkward to me. So I'm going to go back into 3D view, go to top view, find out where the camera is. Yep. Nope. Uh, voodoo scene. There we go. Okay, let's select. There we go. So now I know where my. Sorry, that's the wrong direction. Um, let's hit that one up a little bit. And position it about there. And now when let's just position it up a bit across a bit. You can load up your um, background image. We are gonna do is background image, add image, movie clip, open, open your target files. Uncheck, uncheck camera clip, set the opacity back to 100, and just readjust your scene accordingly to what you want. And here is your scene. So I'm moving along nicely. Dinosaur moves in the shot. And when the camera shakes, it should stick to it. Like it is. And then you can go ahead and do whatever you want with it. So that was my alternate tracking tutorial. I hope you found this useful. If you have your results of your footage, you know, if you're tracking and compositing and stuff, be sure to send it to me. I'd love to see what you guys have to do with it.